What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be doing another modern tiki cocktail. This one was created by Zach Overman at the bar Fort Defiance in Red Hook, Brooklyn. And uh, if you guys weren't paying attention during a Negroni episode, Fort Defiance was created uh, or opened by uh, St. John Frizzell in 2009. They do a lot of local and fresh ingredients. They try and source things really responsibly. They're a great restaurant, you should go check them out. Um, and this cocktail, uh, which is called the Angostura Colada, is one of the very favorites uh, for their customers during Tiki Night uh, when they do them. Uh, it is kind of a mashup between a Trinidad Sour and... Uh, sorry, that cap was sort of bugging me. It was like all askew. Uh, it is a mashup between a Trinidad Sour and a Pina Colada, and I think you guys are really going to dig it. But before we get into all that, we got a little bit of business. It is giveaway time all over again. So this is how we're gonna run it. We are partnering up with Stagger League Goods, which we have done in the past to give away an apron. As you can see, they sent me this amazing, I mean, I don't know if this is like a tiki style apron, but I really like it. And it's like really loud and it's got great, it's a great print. Uh, he's been doing some amazing stuff. Uh, so Stagger League Goods is run by a guy named Alfred Ramos uh, up in Brisbane, California, which is close to, I wanna say close to San Francisco, but it might even be like, it might be very close to San Francisco. Anyway, he does amazing handmade aprons, uh, all for the industry, whether you're a waiter or whether you're a bartender. I recently outfitted my whole crew at Kohl's, including all the waiters with shorties, and they love their aprons. Uh, so we're gonna do a giveaway. This is how it's gonna run. You are going to see the thumbnail or a picture of our Angostura. I just like, I just like, my word just died in my mouth. Uh, you're going to see a thumbnail for the Angostura Colada on our Instagram, and then you guys can just comment. And instead of just telling us your favorite cocktail this time, I think we're just going to ask you guys to tag two of your friends or at two of your friends that might be interested in entering themselves or this content. You can enter as many times as you like, as long as those um, uh, friend tags are unique every single time. Uh, we will pick, we will run it for a, a week, and then we will pick one person. Uh, to win. And then the only other thing that you got to do is you've got to give us a follow on the Educated Barfly and then go over to Stagger Lee Goods' Instagram page and give them a follow as well. So if you follow us, follow them, and then comment with two ats of your friends or, two ta or for tag two friends in the, in the post, then you guys will be entered to win. And uh, you got to do a comment with an at because if you just tag the picture, we're not going to be able to uh, randomize the name. So you, it has to be in the form of a comment. Uh, that being said, let's get into the drink. All right, first thing we're gonna do is one ounce of lime juice. Then we're gonna add an ounce and a half of coconut cream. Today, a lot of you guys have been like asking me about this. Today we made our own coconut cream. And, um, and uh, a lot of people, when I, here's the thing, okay. I've been a little bit guilty on this channel about using coconut cream that is commercially available. I have a couple of friends that run their own syrups companies. We use their products, also Small Hand Foods and a couple other um, producers also make syrups uh, and coconut creams and stuff. Uh, but, or, or we've used, um, or we've used uh, Coco Lopez, which a lot of people have been telling me that there is just not available. So if you wanna make it yourself, it's really easy. All you gotta do is get one can of coconut milk. I've been using the Thai Kitchen coconut milk. And then you, that's just like 13 ounces of that. You put that in a mixing cup with 13 ounces of one-to-one -one simple syrup. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio. You mix it all up and you have a great coconut cream. And so that's how you can make it in your own. It's really cost-effective and it's really easy. And those, that's the way that um, Smuggler's Cove and Martin Kate do their coconut cream, and that's just the recipe that I use. So you, that's what we're doing today. We're just using our very own coconut cream. So then we're gonna add two ounces of pineapple juice. Now here's where it gets a little crazy. We're using Smith & Cross Overproof Rum, which is what uh, the cocktail was created with initially. You can use any overproof rum that you want, but Smith & Cross is preferable. It is uh, very smooth. It is very high proof. Um, but it's really smooth and it's going to kind of round out the flavors of the ounce and a half of Angostura bitters we we're putting in this drink. That is why it's called an Angostura Colada, my friends. So we're going to use most of our, I'm going to have to buy new bitters. We just use most of our bitters because this is all the bitters I got left, you guys. And then this is a, this is going to, it's a crushed ice cocktail. So we're just going to add a little Scotia crushed ice to get the dilution going and get the, uh, we're gonna get our dilution going and we're gonna get our chill going. We're just gonna give it a nice whip. I'm using a, a 
like a pretty high volume snifter for this one. Uh, it's just gonna be nice presentation. It is the presentation that was intended in this cocktail. And then on top of that, uh, it's pretty high volume. So this is a pretty high volume drink, as you saw after I put all those ingredients in there. So you just shake it. You can, if you put that little pinch in there, you can just shake it until it's completely diluted. There you know you have all of the dilution that you need. And then we're just going to dump it into our glass. And then we're just gonna add our pebble ice on top or crushed ice if that's what you're using. I like to make like a little snow cone on top if you can, because it's just like, I just really like the juxtaposition of ice that has, does not have Angostura all over it. And, you know, I gotta say that I've been really digging these modern tiki recipes. A lot of them are just like, don't use rum and they sort of challenge your palate or they're using, or they're, or they're simplifying ingredients. You know, a lot of people have been commenting saying like, you know, the, 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 the beachcomber recipes have so many different rums in it that it's like almost intimidating to get started on making them because there's just so many ingredients. And what I really like about this like modern tiki movement that's going on right now is that it's taking those, uh, it's taking technology and it's also taking those, those, those uh, traditional drinks and then just really paring them down and simplifying them into some pretty amazing concoctions. So we're just going to add a couple of pineapple fronds and just like a orange slice to garnish. And of course, as I do, I forget everything, so. I need a straw to taste it. And I got a kind of a long straw to taste it. So let's taste this and stick my straw right in there. Oh man. So you get that bitters on the finish, right? But all of the other flavors conspire to just mellow it out. So you've got that pineapple, you got the smoothness of the coconut cream. You've got the you've got the spice elements of the bitters, and you get the bitters on the finish. But like even the Smith and Cross, kind of you can just feel that in there, just sort of smoothing, rounding out that sort of lip curling bitter finish that you would get, uh, let's say, with something that like when you if you just taste bitter, you get that like. If you just put bitters on your hand and taste them, you get that like lip curling, like super bitter finish, but they're so well balanced in this drink. I also forgot a garnish. I want to do a little nutmeg and that's really important because you know, your, your, your sense of smell is 80, for 80, 80 to 85% of your sense of taste. So honestly, you're going to want to have a shorter straw in here. You want to get your nose down in there and get that nice nutmeg kind of spice, that sort of kind of Christmassy spice with all of those kind of spice elements that you would get in this tropical cocktail. It's a little hard to smell from up here, but I mean, I got to tell you guys, I just want to sit here and finish this drink. Um, I can't because we need to shoot a, an end screen, but I want to just sit here and just just be like, hey guys, so like, how was your week? My week was pretty good. I'm going to Disneyland tomorrow. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Trader Sam's and I'm gonna taste all the drinks for the second or third time. And I'm gonna really try to backwards deconstruct how those drinks go. And I'm gonna make a series of videos about that, uh, about that, like basically trying to do like reconstructions of Trader Sam's drinks. Because a lot of people have been telling me that they think the Trader Sam's drinks are a little too sweet. And honestly, since it's like a Disney thing and it's kind of based on the Trader Sam's Tiki, like Enchanted Tiki Grotto or whatever that they have in, you know, that it was like kind of like a, a vintage kind of Disney thing that they do. Um, honestly, uh, I think they make them sweet to sort of appeal to a wide variety of people because you know, kind of uninitiated people, they don't, they don't care if it's balanced. They just want it to be like sweet and they want to get drunk. So I think though that just looking at the cocktail ingredients that are on the menu, I can de I can reconstruct them or use different rums to sort of make them more balanced. And I'm going to try and do that. So I'm going to drink all the drinks. And then not only that, but there's the new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge thing that I'm super excited about going to. And there is a cantina in there. And that cantina is one of the only, outside of Club 33, it's one of the only places inside Disneyland that you're allowed to imbibe alcohol. So I'm gonna drink all those drinks too. And hopefully they have some cool glassware that I can get. I'm super excited about it, can you tell? Can you tell that I'm excited? I hope you guys are excited with me. All right, I guess that's it. I'm gonna take another sip of this lovely drink because I love it so much. Mm. There it is, guys. Zach Overman's Angostura Colada. 
drink all the drinks. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. We're doing some nice exclusive content there. Patreon.com slash The Educated Barfly. And I will see you on the next video.